we are back thanks for staying with us right here on reflections and as promised i'm going to introduce to you our living legend this afternoon the one and only tommy cowan tommy cowan yeah, <laughs> bless indeed <laughs> bless indeed how are you doing my friend i'm good i'm good Kenton. ah we have we have done several over the years we have done a few radio interviews but I'm doing TV now. Good. So this is, <laughs> this is my yes, first. Yes. So go, go easy on me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I, I heard you say the man was worn many caps. I know you are the one with yeah, well, two, you know. Sure. Been in radio for 45 years and now doing, you know, touching TV. Welcome. Yes, thanks. Now, you have, I don't even know where to start with you because you've been, you've been active since I was a boy. I remember 19, when I became conscious of, of um, Tommy Cowan, was 1967. And I remember why that the same year I started realizing that, you know, I, I love this business. Because uh, at 11 years old, they asked me to play some tunes. And I remember the festival of 1967. What, my guardian was a cricketer up by Shedwin Park in Spanish Town. And every holiday they would have feasts, you know, Innsworth Sugar Estate. Mm -hmm. And this particular year, they asked me to play. They were playing dominoes and they, they were shot of a guy. And they asked the guy that was playing the sound to, um, to come on and, and, and play the dominoes and the guy said to me I was just standing there looking at the amplifier with the red lights going and I said man and they said the, my guardian was Carlton Hardy and it, they called me Hardy Boy they said Hardy Boy come play two tune and I'm like me I know nothing but what I the first time I played that that afternoon was Baba Boom oh my goodness the first time and what I did I just Look at the label, read the label, and whatever was popular on the radio. Yes. I was rooting for, well, to be honest, I was rooting for the song that came number number three, the third song, um, Alan, Alan the Vibrators. Because they were the upfront mm -hmm. favorites. On the move. You, you remember? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Because Desmond Decker, Alan the Vibrators, and myself. And you guys were at the bottom of the favorite list. I'm telling you. What, what turn for Baba Boom? I mean, I guess they came out in June, July. The, all the songs. Yeah. And the Azad favorite was Move Up Jamaica. Yeah, Azad favorite because, of course, that was, um, I believe it was what you'd have called the intellectual tune of the time and of course right. what you know people say move up Jamaica right, right. but it was actually between us Desmond Decker mm -hmm. and Alan the Vibrators right. we were actually what I think Baba Boom was the roots ah. of tune of it was right, the, the, right. the dark horse right, as right. a matter of fact the minister of education that year was Edwin Allen, Allen. Mm -hmm. and he had said um, when Baba Boom became the festival song, Jamaican mm. people had, had gone to their lowest ebb. <laughs> I, he said I, that? Yes, I, and I had to look what was the meaning of that word. The word, the ebb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but, but, but we, what but I remember... The, was, was, the, was the people's song. Yes, I remember, because yeah. in those days they, they gauged the reaction at the, the, yeah. the final night. They yeah. weren't like, no, you can go online and vote. Yeah. It was a reaction. And I think what happened, from what I remember, that night, your song was so new to the people. It was a dance. Yeah, we song. had the dance and yes, everything. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And, um, and, but I tell you, you know, time has proven it because that song has been done oh over hundreds God. of times yes, by so yes, many people. people. And we're still earning royalties from, from it. No, you formed the jamaicans is that no not actually i would okay, not say that. that i actually before 1967 mm -hmm. we actually had um what was called the pop and mentor competition mm -hmm. and that pop and mentor competition became the festival but, oh, song okay. and it was done the year before yes, too right. and we won that year yes yes, yes um, right. um with a song um called waited so long 
and, the Papa uh, and, and Mento. Right. And mm -hmm. then they changed and had the Papa and Mento. Mm -hmm. And you had um, the festival song in 1966. Mm -hmm. So two. we mm -hmm. entered the Papa and Mento again and won again. Right. While Toots won with Bam Bam. Right. And then the next year we entered the festival song mm -hmm. competition and Baba Boom won. Yeah. No, no. What was your role in the group? Oh, oh yes, oh yes. Yeah, that was a question. The, 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 people want to know. Yeah, the, you the, weren't the lead singer, right? But you were the founder. I was the leader. The leader. In the those, boss. In those, <laughs> in those days, you had the leader of a group, mm -hmm. and you had the lead singer. And you had right. different. So here, you always had the leader of the Jamaicans, right. and so and so, right. which would come and then you find out who was the lead the singer, singer right, and all right. of that. But we were called the Miracles. The and we were around from 1964 oh, okay. and we sang in several um competitive uh, um competition and all of that sort of a thing mm -hmm. um being out there with the scatterlights and these other guys mm -hmm. carlos malcolm and and um and these guys and mm -hmm. we did shows and so but how i became a member of the the miracles was that i was singing at uh, a school concert mm -hmm. with um the miracles were on the same and after the show the guys asked me to join the group mm -hmm. and now after joining the group we met a man called aston mckechron who had like the jamaica producer and oh, um, the okay. ship mm -hmm. and he drove his 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 Rolls Royce, not his Rolls Royce, his cadillac mm -hmm. of the of the pink cadillac of a ship in Kingston Wharf brought it off this guy heard about us and asked us to sing for himself so, and oh, his wow. girlfriend to have dinner what? five of us singing and this guy sit down and when he was finished he said boys I give you a shandy to drink and he gave us um, shandy which was a beer mixed with, with soft stuff. drink mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and he says boys I tell you something you should change your name to the Jamaicans Ah, I so thought it was kind of a thought. He said, remember I tell you, one day the Jamaican music will become very big all over the world. And you must be the first to be identified well, with it. We'll Call yourselves the Jamaicans. Jamaicans. And that was what really took So there me. was no objection to, to calling yourself? No, I again. thought it was kind of a thought, so, tr right. truthfully. But then after that he says, when he explained what he was talking about, thought that was kind of a far fetch. Mm. You know? When 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 you are a leader, the boss of a group, and you because a lot of groups today and even back then, there's always some sort of competition about who is gonna sing lead. From what I understand and what I observe over the years, you don't have no problem with with just being the boss of the group. You don't necessarily have to be the lead singer. No, not really, because you see what really happened. You you really determine as the leader of a group the direction in which you're going, the songs you sing, mm. who sing them. So you would have songs that oh. one sing lead, or you sing two lead, mm, right. and one three, or you would sing right. different parts, right. or you would sing one song right. here. Right. Because, for instance, we de we decided a group had done a song called Guns Fever, and we presented that song so good that we decided so i would come out and lead a song mm -hmm. about did you read the news i'm a bit confused the gun fever is back mm -hmm. you know and he said when a rude boy cap is lean <laughs> you don't know what it means and you go through all that so we decided on this kind of a thing and i did some songs but norris Weir, yeah. who you know my brethren who i i mean my heart feels it because you know we lost him a few years ago right. and mm -hmm. just this week we lost so, the other member of the Jamaicans, yeah, Martin Williams. Williams. Mm -hmm. And um, Norris was such a gifted guy that, mm -hmm. you know, it would really be wrong to really just don't, try and hide his talent under, even though any of us could have taken the lead, but he was a brilliant guy, man. And, brilliant. and you know, since you brought it up, I'm going to just go on it. I was going to bring it up later. How, how does it feel for you to be you now the sole survivor of this legendary group? What kind of feeling goes through? <laughs> um, it's it's a it's a mixed feeling that you know one you think to yourself your God has been good mm -hmm. so somebody is here to tell the story. Right, right. What what's um, and the the other side of it is that 
you know what? Just a few years ago, I said we were the only group with all members alive. Right, right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, and right. now we are here, but um, I, I, th I think it's more like you are happy to know that you have been been given right. the chance to contribute. Right. No, I, I believe the important part is how do I pass it on? Uh, right. I think no, Carlin spoke, spoke about, about that. Right. How do I pass, pass it, it on? on? Because if anything that you have about yourself that is good and it dies with you, that's a yeah, failure. Yeah, you must need yeah. to pass it on. Your success is not in you. It's in your yeah, successor. Sure. Mm, I'll, I'll take success. that. I'll take that. Um, over the years, Tommy Cowan, you have done so many things that people don't know that you have played such an instrumental role. What was the name of your label? Talent something? Talent, Corp uh, Talent Corporation Richard. was a company, but we had different labels um, such as um, we had Star Apple. Star Apple, that's you too? Yeah. You're kidding me. Star uh, that, that you put out some wicked tune, Bridget. City. Um, uh, yeah, MC label. Yeah, what, how do you segue from being top ranking man top ranking yes. top ranking with, with roger you, and them boys in a how do you Jacob segue man. from being a member of a group to being uh a producer manager talent scout and all of those things was it easy for you being that you have that experience as a part of the jamaicans i don't think it's an easy role because to be you know, some people say you're multifaceted, you're, yes. you're this. I, then a lot of people say you're not. <laughs> you're you're not everything. <laughs> but, you know where they put it. It's but, true. <laughs> because when, 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 you, when you think of some persons, when you think of Michael Jordan, what do you think of? Basketball. Good when you think well, of Muhammad Ali, you, you think, think of... Mark one thing Thin, right. you know boxing well, that's not the case you think of you. tele you think, you think of, of soccer, football yeah, yeah. and it's when you think of bob marley he concentrated yeah, right. on his music as a right. musician right. when you become a producer they said that but what you have to appreciate about life is that god moves in mysterious yeah, ways yeah. for his wonders to perform and so over the year i did not understand this mm -hmm. but there's always and it still bothers me a little bit I tell her like last night a song just kept going through my my head mm -hmm. a song I recorded with a youth and all night last night I couldn't sleep without this song um oh I miss you yes I do baby you know I love you with, but I miss you was a 11 year old kid called I'm Stuart Nelson. I saw that article. I never heard of this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I'm and, being, and I said to myself, there goes Tommy again. I hear my, my You know, what opened my eyes to you, and no respect to you, a couple of years ago, Junior Tucker had his 50th anniversary thing. Yeah. And he had a play of his life. And you were like the central figure. I didn't know you, you and Junior Tucker were that deep. When you when you first saw the seven year old kid, what did you see? Wow, I saw a promise. Yeah. I saw, saw a promise. Prom I saw a promise. I had a touch and an experience of his uncle Jimmy Tucker, who just who recently just passed, died. Right, yeah. And um that was the first singer I experienced actually face to face coming from country into Kingston mm -hmm. and my aunt who attended Linda's church brought him home mm -hmm. after church and said sing and I'm, I, I'm and he was in my living room singing and I thought you know I'm growing up in the country and I saw my the first right. gramophone I mm -hmm. thought the man was in the gramophone like all of us I you thought know, the guys that Jane were in the, and in the will soon <laughs> come home the much is the Lord in the window and all of these songs so and a gramophone and then i'm seeing the singer for the first time because you know and i've heard of him and they've seen yeah. having experienced radio now mm -hmm. and this kid was you know this kid who would walk into the radio station and sing and now to see him live mm -hmm. and so when Juna came along i just said wow this entire family is talented so, and so is Juna yeah. tucker now in the play though it, it they portray you at one point as 
you made him his father jealous. The father was yeah. sort of jealous of you. Yeah, I took him and from... And Judah would have to decide between you or his real dad. Yeah. Uh, you, 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 that was so for real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Yeah, yeah. Tell me, I mean... I mean, my family, he grew up like... We like, cannot take him in the house, I yeah. mean, and... Um, so much stories, man. I, I, even preparing him, I used to hold him under the water. Take him to the sea and hold him under the water mm -hmm. so he can't draw no, breath well, well. to have him and I used to run back and ask him to run me down and well, all of that stuff well, and, well. <laughs> and she started to cry <laughs> I'm going to take no more I said, I'm running back yeah, right. you, you so where is him today? what, what, what kind of relationship? Oh, man, he it's still has that father it's the same so, love so. it's the same love it's a lot of love no I was the first person to to bring to Jamaica's attention via Barry G's program that um, there will be a, a version of Reggae Sunsplash that's gonna be opening in the USA in July. Mm -hmm. Barry G didn't know that. He said, Clinton, are you sure? He said, yes, they're gonna be. And um, one of the things that Barry learned from that conversation was that you were gonna be the MC of that show. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? You, I mean, I've never known you to be an MC, or, or did you get that job? <laughs> oh man, that's, that's another story I Give us a little piece you. of that. Oh, oh, well, okay, with the Jamaicans, yeah. what happened is that Byron Lee saw me. Why? One of the things I, I also did, mm -hmm. I became the marketing manager eventually, from a salesman to the marketing manager of Dynamic Sounds, mm -hmm. handling the labels of Atlantic, Panda, mm -hmm. Motown records. I wow. got to meet all of these guys from Amit and Emmett Erdogan. Mm -hmm. I mean, I met Michael Jackson, these mm -hmm. guys as kids, mm -hmm. handling Motown records. Wow. And when I would do the shows, Byron would w watch me, had my guys, and, and ask when me. Will you do the shows with the Jamaicans? Yeah. Okay. And then they asked me to um, say, why don't you talk on the stage? And then there was a guy called Tony Verity. I remember from our so, after when Tony Verity would do his spot on the shows as the MC and the Jamaicans would perform, then they bring mm -hmm. me back now as a surprising guy who would MC a part of the show. Sure. Because from that, I also used to do imitations and imitate. Is there, nothing, is there anything you didn't do, Tommy? Yeah, I imitate um, Buster. <laughs> And Norman Manley well, yeah, and I didn't know Father that. Rabbi Hook what? and all, all kind of a guys. Um, yeah. So you were like um, and, a, a and comedian then? In, 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 a sense, in a sense. Yeah. So, and of course, always do like the history and the artists and they love, love that. that. The oh, introductions okay. to say the artists. I say, you know who this is? Dennis Brown, mm -hmm. even just in a conversation. Yeah. This man started singing and he was right, on a, right, right. On a, you on a good that. box, you, you, you know? You, you, and, you. Yeah, and he did this before, that one did that and he did this. Why? You understand the yeah, man right. here? But the so, phrase now, yes indeed. Yeah. How did you coin that phrase? Where and how, who? I think Third World coined it for me now. What was happening? Like you say, I was on that Sunsplash tour. Yeah, I remember, yes. And I've been on Sunsplash tour, you know, Jamaica. <laughs> reggae is a musical vibe going to the four corners yeah, of the world yes. with the hope that through this music we may unite the people of all race, mm. all class, all color, mm. all creed, all religion. Mm. Uniting the world through music, this is a reggae sun splash. And so I would use that thing, yes indeed, after naming the facts about an yeah, artist wow. and then one evening coming back on the bus. So Bunny Ruggs kept saying, no, 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 yes, indeed. And everybody laughed. And said, yes, yes, indeed. indeed. And everybody laughed. I said, so what's the joke here? The man said, 21 times. <laughs> you know, yes, yes, indeed. Are you and weren't said, conscious of it? No, wasn't conscious of it. So so were you surprised? Uh, or did you, uh, were, were you surprised that then this little phrase, yes, indeed, just blew up and became your your identity in so many ways yes I'm, i mean and i'm thankful i said god gave me two words because in japan mm -hmm. you know i would walk out in front of sixty thousand people and i hear hi honto <laughs> hi honto and um every year i would go to japan mm -hmm. and they would change the artist but the hi honto man oh, would yeah, have to come yes, yes indeed yes indeed and yes. so 
everywhere I go, Boy. before I even say yes, Cindy, as a matter of fact, Steel Pulse had it on their thing, and one night it kind of a, they recorded me saying it, mm -hmm. and then one day, and I was kind of a, what happened to me there because. When did I say that? Because they played it. They, oh, they played the sample. Some, oh, As I walk out, they said, oh, yes, indeed. And I said, and something move. gone wrong yeah. with my head. Mm. Because I've never heard that before. Anybody has sampling, you know? Sample. <laughs> that's how, that's how, you know, it does get to that iconic stage where they can sample it. Can I a phrase? Have you registered, copyrighted it? Registered I don't think it? I'm able to. Oh, you can. I don't, I don't know. Right. Yeah. But that's you. Every, anywhere in the world, people go and hear that. It's, now, I yeah, you know, somebody said, you know, people have always said, why don't you register? Don't you hear the guy register every time they, they say, it's ready to rumble! Yeah, right, right. Yeah, there, you go, right. there you go, there you go. Now, you, 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 of all the things you have done, you constantly been producing songs. I just got um, Ross Michael, the re VP re-released the album. I didn't know you were involved with that. Yeah. Ross Michael and the Sons of Negus. Oh yeah, I did all the Ross Michael hit songs. Not all the Ross Michael songs, but hit songs. Oh. None of Jaja Children No oh, Cry, sorry. Birds in the Tree Top, A New Name Jagat and it's terrible. Oh moment. my goodness. All of those, yeah. I remember about three years ago when I did the top 100 songs of the year, whatever year it was. And I have some song on Jaguar label and it was credited to um, Byron Lee and you had called me you had yeah. called me to ask me to make correction because actually Clinton it was me and I have to go Clinton through the list Cherry Baby Cherry Baby yes, was my, what? my production yeah so why didn't you get credit then what, what was the problem with that because <laughs> you did the album Love of the Common People right was that your album yes but living on free for yes, the ticket but, so yes. most of it Eric Donaldson's at the time yes that you, that you were assigned his producer or how did that go well i did that album with him um you know the the i did cherry oh baby i did love of the common people yeah. i did blue boot what? um yeah you call me yeah, and, and i have to and, go through the list and there's some yeah well there are reason and I as a matter of fact roger lewis was telling some folks up to a couple of days ago yes because remember inner circle was my band yes and um roger had to remind these guys say people put their names on my songs but was there a reason for that back then uh, i don't know you know in those days i i credited people who helped me so for instance i was working with byron lee mm -hmm. so i would put like on cherry oh baby oh, produced yeah. by t cohen yeah, yeah. And B. Lee. B. Lee. And then Bonnie Lee says in them. And that, we got caught up in that too, because some song yeah. credited to Bonnie Lee. Um, yeah, but. It's not really Bonnie Lee. Yeah, so are but, you now able to rectify and clear on. We tried those? to clear them, but you know, I didn't actually. It's um, not important. That, that ego that part of me is it's not, not really, ego, it's business. You know, it's it's not, business, yeah. It's business. Yeah. It, because when. When a record can go out and say B. Lee, and it's not really no B. Lee. Yeah, I credited him because he gave us the facility to do it. But he wasn't even in the studio. That's what I learned. Time. That's yeah, what yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I learned. Yeah, yeah. You know, b before anything else, I'm going to remind you of this. You know, you and I have been back and forth. I was in Jamaica maybe 10 years ago, 10, 11 years ago. At an apartment in New Kingston. And I went to the supermarket um and i was walking in the aisle you were coming towards me you were on the phone and we were just about to meet each other i was like almost to stretch out my hand to hey tommy and then tommy just walked past me and i'm like tommy you know what did i do and the next thing you know about six feet away you stop and you turn around click that what, what, what was happening with it? You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you were on the phone, you were so caught up with the conversation. I'm like, you just passed me and then you stopped. You, you turn around and, yeah. and I'm like, yes, yeah, stop, it's me. And you apologize. And yeah, I guess we allowed one of those. Yeah, we like. allowed one of those. <laughs> so now, what, what did you, by the way, congratulations in your, in, in, in Naomi's, um, success you and Carlene uh, uh, have really done a good job with her 
What do you have up your sleeve? Is there anything else you want to do? You have done it all. You're a promoter. You know, you 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 manager. You you managed Dennis Brown for a while. Did you yes, manage? Yes, I managed Dennis Who Brown. Remember, team? I worked with Bob Marley. I worked with Peter Tosh. I mean, I had put out to my my um to my agency and my distribution mm. songs like Legalize It, Babylon right, right, Queendom. Right. I had put out um, Black Heart Man mm. with Bonnie Wheeler. Wow. Um, I worked at Bob Marley as yeah, the I marketing the, manager. The, yeah, I, yeah, I went to manager. Africa with him. Mm. I toured Europe with him. But you is know, there anything exciting. else but, um, that you want to do, Sammy? Is there anything else left for you to do? Well, you know, I, I do what we call um, Fun in the Sun. Yes. Right. Yes. And um, Fun in the Sun. It's an annual uh, gospel, gospel concert yeah. that is Probably done in Jamaica. No, you're doing this it. In, in the Caribbean. Yes. Um, but what I would like to do is to, to be part of that movement mm -hmm. that has our music back into where it has that humanitarian content mm -hmm. to move our people in a direction where they, 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 they we can lessen or get rid of things like murder mm -hmm. you know um we want a better time because like i was talking to my brethren about it music he says he just taught me something today that um uh, marlon burrell your man your Martin man encyclopedia your man marlon taught me today that when when people play music use both sides of their brains and music itself muse mm -hmm. muse the word muse means to think yeah. and if we can use and we if i can have a a vision and that vision will help to have a new world because of our music that is what i'd love to do oh, wow. you know cardin was talking about mm. the music that right, we do right. we have a home studio right. so we are able to do continue doing music that's why you're not going to hear yeah, the yeah, end of not, we're not going to hear the end of you no <laughs> because we keep yeah. creating and let me ask I you. want to come to Florida with, with, with fun in the song. Um, when and I asked Colleen in her segment, when people refer to you as a living legend, what 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 give? What how do you feel about that? I think um, I, I I just I'm thankful mm -hmm. because I think what they're saying to it that we recognize the contribution you have made, made then we understand that. This thing is not of ourselves. You see, anything we get to us, mm -hmm. you, God said, I'll get it to you if I can get yes. it through you. Right. And, and then so you, you're probably doing something right. Yeah. But it's not about ourselves, mm -hmm. it's all about what we can pass on. on right. Pass it on. on. And, you, you, know, you, you, that's uh, what we are here for. You have been honored by the Jamaican government how many times? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you have been honored so many times. You got an OD? Yes. Um, what else have you got? I, I don't know. I've gotten um, I've gotten a gold medal mm -hmm. from um, Siaga. I've gotten the Reggae Icon Award. Right, right. Um, I've got several best. I can just, especially producers. abroad, you get you yeah. you get a, a lot of of. Um, you know yeah. awards and and trophies yeah. do you have a place at your at your home where you keep all of them uh, um do we i, I think I, we have we have them we have them right, you right. Know? what do you want to see i don't know what you just spoke about but in terms of where do you see tommy Cowan in five years in five years mm -hmm. um like in five years what I see of Tommy Cohen is is more of like I say, what of my successors would be, be okay. the persons who have passed on the knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm seeing them blossoming in their own right. Yeah. I see people like my daughter Naomi, mm -hmm. um, really contributing positively towards the upliftment of mankind yes, yes. i see my son nathan nathan who's yeah. um he, good tomorrow, manager too yeah he's taking mm -hmm. um um steel pulse on tour right now ah, in, the, okay. in the he starts a new tour on yeah, wednesday yeah. with them in the yeah, united yeah, states yeah, right. you know um i see people coming to know the lord it's through fun in the sun yeah. and and multiplication of that 
you know, we have a thing as called um, uh, peer evangelism, mm -hmm. where we have already trained over 10,000 young people in peer nice. evangelism. That is nice. I see, <laughs> you talk so about you, things, so I see the you farmers. You have your plate. Yeah, full for the next five play, years. We're play, we play, we playing a very important role oh, now that's in nice. future in agriculture. That is nice. Yeah, we have a, a program coming up called Harvest. And um, look out for Harvest. I and will. what we're going to be doing in that area. Now, you know, and as you know, when you have the new tune uh, by Naomi, by Carleen, or anybody, you, you, you know, you can always pass it on. And yes. you have my digits, my email, everything to send. And all I can say, God, God bless you, and, and just keep on doing what you're doing, brethren. Well, thank you so much, um, because you have also played your part, and um, I, I also wish for you all the best, and um, that the, the people, young people especially looking on, will see that Clinton Lindsay is really a man who has been so positive in whatever he has done for the music, because we understand that there's a world out there and a better world to come. And if we do the right thing, nobody can stop us. Do. Good, you get a blessing. You do bad, you get a beating. Pick your piece. Pick Simple as that. Yes. Mr. Cowan, thanks for taking time out. Because yes. I know you're very in demand. And I know, you know, you're rushing back to Jamaica to continue your work. So thank you for passing. Yes, so, sir. Uh, Yes, Ble indeed. Bless indeed. Yeah, bless you indeed. get a blessing now, you know. It's a bless it's indeed. A bless indeed. Yeah. Okay, so really a good talk. We should could talk some more, but you know, time is a festive. Again, we want to thank uh, Tommy Cowan for passing through. We're going to take a break. When we come back, more right here on Reflections with Clinton Lindsay. Clinton Lindsay, a promoter. Bring up the biggest set of artists from Jamaica. Like Super Cat and Mr. Early B, the doctor. Only for artists, no for them, he can remember. Who can remember when they used to keep Jamaica? The kind of show that used to give out no for water. To reggae artists.